Hey, welcome back to another video. We're in Harvey Bay. Spelt Hervey. Don't dare say Hervey 21 because that's a lot of people. You'll be in trouble. Um, <laughs> was supposed to get me car serviced. Uh, apparently they didn't have the parts even though it was good for a month. A little bit of a weird one. So we've come down to the pier, which I'll slowly flip around and show you. It's pier at 1.1 kilometers long, I believe. Oh, I think it's called Gijigan Pier or something like that. I'll put the name up here for you to get the right name. Um, beautiful, big long pier. We'll just a little bit of cloud around. When I was shooting, there was some cloud sort of around this area here, so it had a bit of fog on one side, sort of too blue. Um, had that missing 1,000 MD filters and also the 32,000. Today, so these pylons that you see the RP sitting on are like stormwater drains, rock solid, and the photo come up really good. So pretty happy with that. It was a, it was a oh shit. I forgot my tripod. I wasn't expecting to use it, but uh, it's a gorgeous day, and this pier looks pretty darn cool. It's a perfect location. Um, I may even go black and white with the 32,000. Come up really nice, but it's very blue. Um, lots of blue in there, but. Flip you around and just show you the perspective of these photos. Then I'll chuck up the 1000 NDs and then the 32,000 NDs to show you that after the intro. But right let's get that intro started. Let's go. Right, yeah, so there's the RP sitting on the stormwater pipe. You can see the pier, lovely pier going down here. So that's basically the angle of the shot. There was cloud, I said, up above before. Just wanted to show you a bit more of the area. So that's probably a bit going to the wide angle view there. You can see there. Um, I had the Nissi circular polarizer and then obviously the ND1000s and 32000s. You can see that I use all the time on the 24 to 105 Canon lens. RF mount lens and I'm really loving that lens, it's really quite versatile for the cheapest lens in the range. I'm actually getting a lot of value out of it. Um, even though I've got my Art Series Sigma there, um, the zoom on this is 10 million times better um, and that's the biggest thing I have noticed using my older lenses on the RP, the zoom just can't keep up. Um, the RF mount lenses for zoom wise is just yeah, pretty spectacular. I'm sure it's the same on like your Sony's and stuff, and that's little, I guess the reason how they get you to buy the new lenses, because that zoom and the speed of it is just, yeah, definitely makes a massive difference when you're trying to shoot. So, very, very cool. In this occasion, zoom probably wasn't a major factor, um, but it's a bright day. I didn't really need an f1.8 aperture, and this worked well, I think, to do a couple of multiple different stacking shots. So, I've done... Uh, focused here in the middle and obviously out at the end of the pier and I'll just blend those two in to get a nice clean shot. Uh, that'll be for the ND1000s and then you'll see one for the 32000 which basically just makes that water just dead flat and it's actually a nice, really nice image and might work out well in black and white. So we're going to head down this way, see if I can spin around, see through the pier there. Uh, there's an island, I guess, over here, uh, just in the middle of the strait between Harvey Bay and Fraser Island. There's a little sand beach island I can see over there with trees. I'm going to shoot over there and with the drone, the Mini 2, send it up and go and have a look, see if I can't get, can't get some shots. And then we're head off to the Tanigales next.
come down to the Harvey Bay Botanic Gardens. Uh, nice little spot, nice and cool in the shade. Sun's up, uh, not much cloud around, as you might be able to see if I take it up there. Cloud's sort of gone. There is some around, but just not there. Making the shots a little bit trickier. It's a nice, it's a beautiful little uh, orchid uh, building over here. I can definitely have some beautiful flowers in there. I've got some great shots out of there. I'll chuck them up. I'm um, just stuck with the 24 to 105, just having a bit of a gander. Um, nice, relaxing sort of place. It uh, CP, Nissi CP on it. Um, yeah, I've had some nice comments about the sticker, the uh, life lifeguard sticker, my cartoon. Looking pretty good there with my three-legged things. All good. So just walking around, seeing if I can see anything. Uh, the light's a bit bright, so probably not the best for shooting. Um, you would have seen the drone stuff. That came up pretty good. I had got the ND2000. I think um, I had some drums the other day, but I contacted them and just pushed down on top of it and it resets the prongs, which is good. Uh, I got some stuff of the jetty. You would have seen that. That, would, that worked out pretty good. Mini. There was a, like a decent breeze, not a big breeze. As I said, it, it's an awesome drone now with the wind. It's really good. Um, so pretty stoked with that. Shot out, got the island with the, well, I had the 2000 ND on. I hadn't done much with that. I think it was about one and a half seconds, roughly, the exposure on it. Um, big bright day. So, yeah, see how they go. It'll be interesting to have a look at those. Some nice panos. Did some stuff of the, of the pier. That come up really good. Um, yeah. It's been a good little morning and that's about it. I'm just gonna walk around and get a few little more shots here, but that's pretty much here. Um, yeah, a nice relaxing, as I said, I was supposed to be a car service and I thought, well, I'm not gonna waste a day while I'm waiting for a car. They stuffed up and couldn't get the parts from my car service. So uh, I was here, I thought I might as well come down and check it out. I probably would come down earlier. If you're gonna come down to the Botanic Gardens, I'd come here early and get some of that morning glow they have beautiful sunsets uh, sunrises here coming across the ocean um, you get that gorgeous golden hours um, i've seen a heap of photos from the area uh, that'll sort of help you and that would cast this place in a whole different light you get the water here there's ducks there's bird life um, yeah some good spots i think you just need the right light it's just a little bit blown out at the moment just probably not making it as nice as what it could be Radio, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. And yeah, Harvey Bay Botanic Guns. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.
this gun section. 